I'm going to show you the one animation feature that immediately sped up my workflow. It's super simple to set up, incredibly powerful, and will save you hours of tedious work. The feature I'm talking about is so simple in nature, but before we get to it, I need to show you quickly the problem. I've got three objects here, all sharing the same animation. However, they're also in the exact same position, and I need to move them so that they look like this. Well, I can't really do that without re-editing every single keyframe, which is gonna tack on loads of hours onto my workflow. So now comes the secret feature, Delta Transformations. So what are Delta Transformations and why are they so powerful? Well, in layman's terms, it's essentially another layer of animation or transformation data that you can tack on top of your already created animation. So in the properties tab, you can click this little drop down here and start messing around with the location, rotation, and scale. So now I can easily place my animation wherever I want it to be. It's not going to interact with any of my previous animation data, and it took me literally seconds to implement this. The real power of this feature comes when you have multiple objects in your scene, like this beautiful example here from Viscous Realm. You can see all of the different animation data that has been copy pasted to other objects and how easily this would have been to implement. Now this technique goes both ways. You can actually apply your animation data and convert that to Delta Transforms. So if you want to do all of your animation data and then apply that through to your Delta Transforms, you just have to press Control A and then apply animated transforms to deltas. So that'll pull all of your animation data across to the delta transforms. And now you have all of the regular transformation data to play around with. Now, if you want to truly level up your animations, I'd highly recommend checking out this video here. Thanks for watching.